It's time for Donkey of the Day. I'm not even trying to be Donkey of the Day no more. They should be embarrassed by what they already did. I I'm not making these people do these things. Called Donkey of the Day, and it really caught me off guard. Damn, Charlemagne, who got the Donkey of the Day today? Well, just hilarious. Uh, donkey of the day for Wednesday, May 29th goes to Pope Francis. Yes, 87-year-old Pope Francis, who has apologized for using an anti-gay slur during a meeting with bishops. The 87-year-old reportedly what? made the homophobic remark in a closed-door meeting last week <laughs> as he told Italian bishops that gay men shouldn't be allowed to train for the priesthood. Let's go to NBC News for the report, please. Pope Francis this week meeting his public. He is the focal point of global Christianity, a leader for so many but now embroiled in yet another Vatican scandal. It's reported that during a private meeting with bishops a week ago, he used a highly offensive term to describe members of the LGBT plus community. The Pope is said to have referred to the word frochigini, which roughly translates as f***itness. Today oh. came an apology from the Vatican. In the church, there is room for everyone, it said. The Pope never intended to offend or express himself in homophobic terms, and he apologises to those who felt offended by the use of a term reported by others. What? Now, that wasn't NBC News, that was Sky News. Apologies. Mm. Uh, the word he used, I can't pronounce, and that's probably for the best. Did we isolate it, Eddie? Were you, were you didn't isolate it? I can't pronounce it. But mm. just know it sounds like an espresso blended beverage you could order at Starbucks. Okay, extra whipped cream, of course. Don't be stingy with the caramel drizzle either. This is why words are so tricky, man, because <laughs> the word literally means a bundle of sticks and was used in the 19th century to, to describe older women who gathered firewood, but has since taken on a negative connotation to describe gay men. How did the word evolve in that way? I don't know. Is it because you can drop the ST and replace with a D? Makes sense to me. Say it with me, Envy. Bundle of sticks. Bundle of... Right? Picks. Yeah. No. Nope. But you don't. Hey, <laughs> okay. yo. All right. And older women who gather firewood. Okay. That's what it also means. How do we know firewood isn't slang for good penis? Right? Mm -hmm. Oh. Firewood. Firewood. You know what I'm yeah. Girl, you got that firewood. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to figure out how words evolve the way they do. And this word Pope Francis used is now an offensive noun, which translates into an English word, English word that I cannot say on the radio. Now, listen. The Vatican ruled in 2005 that the church cannot allow the ordination of men who are actively gay or have deep-seated homosexual tendencies. Damn it, Envy, we can't be bishops, okay? <laughs> Deeply-seated homosexual tendencies. I don't even know what that means, but I feel like that might apply to us, okay? What is the difference between being actively gay and having deep-seated homosexual tendencies? They sound like two sides of the same cheeks to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? I guess when you're actively gay, somebody is deep in your seat as opposed to having deep-seated homosexual tendencies. But you know what's interesting? I was actually talking about this yesterday with some of the homies, and I was saying how religious people don't feel like they are being homophobic because it's under the guise of religion. They look at homosexuality as being an abomination. So the religious folks saying homosexuality is wrong isn't homophobic are keeping, you know, uh, uh, gay people out of things isn't homophobic. It's a religious belief. Well, all that goes out the window when you use a gay slur behind closed doors. Okay. <laughs> now, they said in recent years, the Pope has offered a more welcome approach to LGBTQ plus uh, Catholics saying, who am I to judge when it comes to gay priests? And has also offered the possibility that priests could offer informal blessings for same sex couples. And I guess some spokespeople for the Pope said that the Pope uh, who speaks Italian as a second language may not have been aware of how offensive his language was, adding that the remark was greeted with laughter by the bishops. Just because something is funny doesn't mean it's right or appropriate. It just means it's funny. Okay, ha-ha funny, not bundles of sticks funny. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, Pope. You can't use the excuse that you didn't know it was a slur. You are the Pope. And even though you are human, you have a better understanding of what's right and wrong than most individuals, or at least you should. You should know everything that's not right to do simply because you're the Pope. So because you're the Pope, you will be held to a higher standard than most. But he's also 87. At 87, I don't think he really gives a damn. I mean, the Vatican is apologizing for the Pope's remarks, but the Pope is probably like anyone who's upset at me calling gay people a bundle of sticks. They too are a bundle of sticks. <laughs> Please give Pope Francis the sweet sounds of the Hamiltons. You are the donkey mm. of the day. Ooh, 
You are the donkey of the day. Yeehaw. Now, you know your Uncle Charles is not the highest grade of weed, weed in the dispensary, so I need some of y'all to help me out. I just need to know what is the difference between being actively gay and having deep-seated <laughs> homosexual tendencies. I just need to know the difference. Trav, somebody help me out here. Look, just look in the mirror. That's, shut up. Deep-seated homosexual tendencies. I, I that do sound have, gay than being gay. Yeah. I do have a question, though. Mm. If this would have been an actor, an actress, a rapper, mm -hmm. or anybody out there mm. with a regular job, a high-end job, if mm. they said that word, they would be canceled. What, you going to do, cancel the Pope? Or they would be fired. You gonna do fire the Pope? Unless you're Donald Trump. Donald Trump, it just doesn't apply to him. But anybody else would be want, out of there. What, what do you want to happen to the Pope? I'm just asking. I don't even know what can happen to him. That, that's what I'm asking. Mm -hmm. What can happen? Cause you, you, you can't cancel the Pope, right? Eh, he's 87. No. He's a, oh, yeah. He's he in the season finale. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You gonna do cancel the Pope? For using a word? Yes. It's, I'm just asking. And he clearly didn't care. Because he didn't even apologize. No. The Vatican apologized. Uh -uh. Y'all worried about the wrong things, though. What, what is deep-seated homosexual <laughs> tendencies? Uh, it does. It sounds Let deep. Let me Google. It sounds Google. very deep, like deeply rooted. What does that mean? Like like you... It, I don't know. Maybe something happened. Tendencies. Like the way Charlamagne looks at me sometimes. I, I, the way he I, acts like he's more as chestnut. Oh, okay. It there's, could have there's, like there's, trauma, younger trauma, deeply rooted, something. There's, there's nothing you can't Google. People with deep-seated homosexual tendencies may identify as gay men and often believe they were born that way and that mm. homosexuality is a normal variation in human sexuality. That's just gay. What are we oh, doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, What's yeah. What's the difference? Just was born that way. Okay. They may also be comfortable with their sexual attractions and not view homosexuality as a disordered inclination. They may reject scientific findings. That there is no genetic or biological basis. I don't. It just makes no sense to me. Okay, just, so just, they're making it very scientific on that. It's just yeah. It's just come on. Okay, it's, <laughs> you're gay. It's, it's, just, it. it's fine. Like what? It's what you okay. Talking? Stop it. Okay. All right. All right. Well, thank you for that donkey today, sir. Mm -hmm. Donkey today is sponsored by renowned personal injury attorney Michael the Bull Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey when you need a fighter on your side. If you're ever injured, go to michaelthebull.com. That's michaelthebull.com. And when you mess with the bull, you get the horns. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.